Game Studio. How can I get that super fast performance for my video game? Well, the first thing is you need to use pooling. Let's take a look at this example Unity project. It spawns a few things every couple frames. Now let's pause the profiler, go take a look at how long it takes to instantiate objects. There's the instantiate right there. Notice it's 1.24 milliseconds just for three things getting spawned. You can imagine that would cause a serious performance bottleneck if you were spawning a lot more things than that. You would get some jitters on your mobile device or your PC. Notice the large garbage collection allocation there as well. When the garbage collection gets around to doing that, that's also going to cause a performance hiccup. This is just instantiation. Destroying objects is just as bad, if not worse. Now, if you use a pooling solution, you avoid instantiating or destroying objects except at the very beginning of the scene, so you don't get any performance hiccups like this. It's orders of magnitude faster. Spawning and despawning is actually just enabling and disabling objects in the pool. Now we're going to set up this game to use pooling. This is the thing that spawns everything. There are three spawn points. This one and these two. We're going to delete them. We're going to delete the spawner. Now we're going to pull in core game kit. Single prefab. Level wave settings. First thing we're going to do is set up pool boss for our pooling things. So let's go in there create three items for our three enemies and drag them in. The elephant, the zom bear, and the zom bunny. And we're going to make 20 copies of each. They'll get created when the scene starts. Now we're going to go ahead and create three spawners, one for each enemy type. Zom bunny spawner, Zom bear spawner, and the elephant spawner. Now let's go ahead and move those so they're separate visually. They're in a certain layer that you can turn off if you don't want to see them on the game window. It's good for aligning purposes, when you're prototyping anyway. Okay, now we have to turn on global waves. That means we're not using triggered spawners, which I'll make a video about later. We're using synchro spawners instead. So you create any number of waves here. We're just going to do one wave of 10 seconds. You also can do elimination waves, which means you have to destroy all the enemies, and then it'll go to the next wave. We're just doing one wave. Now let's go into the spawners, and let's make all three of the spawners use that one wave. So here it says level one, wave one. Those are coming from the previous prefab we just set up. We're going to have it spawn between 15 and 20, that's randomly, of this prefab, Zombunny. And it takes three seconds. Now let's go create the Zombear spawner. We're going to have that create between 12 and 15 in three seconds. Now let's go ahead and set up the elephant spawner. They're all using the same wave. This one will spawn less. Let's say between 8 and 13 in 3 seconds. Let's hit play and see if they're spawning. There they come. Now let's go look at the pool boss. Here's all the copies that it spawned. The ones that are lit up are active and the rest are inactive. Let's go take a look again. It says how many are spawned. You can go ahead and despawn all the types right from here. Thank you for joining us. Stay tuned for more videos.